The new session has begun and I would like to congratulate all the students who have secured an MBBS seat this year. You must be very eager to start this new chapter of your life. Also, at the same time you will be very excited and nervous because you won't be able to figure out what to do and what not to do. So, today I am here with the video Things Required for First Year MBBS. I am Kayan and welcome back to our channel Mask Marigos. The first and the foremost thing is apron. It took years of sacrifice to achieve this. It is going to be one of the most expensive piece of clothing that you are ever going to wear. Because apart from money, it took sheer amount of hard work, dedication, sleepless nights and what not from your side to achieve this. From now onwards, it has become your identity. It is available in two sizes. It is of half length and full length. Half length is generally preferred for the UG students and the full length one is generally preferred for the PG students. Also, you can get your name engraved on it along with the college name or college stamp if required. And I would like to suggest that you buy two aprons because you know you can use them simultaneously throughout the week. Also, a tip for the hostelites that you would like to buy three aprons because Hostels mein there are chances that you know it might get misplaced and koi bhi aapka apron pen ke chala jaye. So for that thing, aap apne initials ya koi bhi marking engrave kara sakte ho under the collar or anywhere so that you can you know recognize that this is your apron. The next thing is stethoscope. It is not required to buy an expensive litmus stethoscope at this point of time. You can go for any pocket friendly stethoscope. For example, the microtone stethoscope that is quite good enough for now. The next thing is scrubs or OT dresses. You won't be requiring scrubs or OT dresses in the first year. So there is no need of buying it in the first year itself. You can buy it later on in the second or the third year when your clinical postings and ward rounds will start. The next and one of the most important things that is the books to refer for first year MBBS. We have already made a book review for the books of first year MBBS, you can go and check it out now. Also, we have made videos explaining how to read anatomy, physiology and biochemistry in the first year. The links will be given in the description down below. For anatomy, you have to use BDC as the main book and exam purposes. As an additional book, you can use Gray's Anatomy or Nettler's Atlas. For physiology, you have to use Sembulingam as the main book or for exam purposes and you can use Guyton for additional reference. In biochemistry, you have to use Satyanarayan as the main book or for exam purposes and you can use Vasudevan as an additional reference book. Also, I would suggest you to buy three separate notebooks for each subject where you can write the important questions, you can make your notes, etc. Also, you can buy colorful pens, highlighters, markers, sticky notes to, you know, mark the important questions and the previous year questions asked in your university. The next comes clothing. Well, this might differ from college to college because some colleges, they have a strict dress code, whereas some colleges, they don't. But in general, boys are required to wear formals, that is shirt, pant, normal shoes, sport shoes, jeans or t-shirts, they are not allowed. In girls, you are required to wear salwar and kurtis and crop tops, t-shirts, jeans, they are not allowed. Also boys, you are required to be groomed properly because Kabir Singh wala look is appreciated in movies but not in medical colleges. Also, a pro tip for the hostelites that you might keep a pair of traditional clothing with you and boys, you might keep a blazer and a suit with you guys and girls you might prefer keeping a gown or a sari with you because it might be required in your college events or fest and you don't have to you know rush at the very end moment to buy these things. The next thing is a bone set. A bone set is required to study the origin and insertion of the muscle, the attachment of the muscles and many more things. It is mainly required for your anatomy practical vivas. There are two types of bone sets, one is original and one is artificial. I would recommend you guys to buy an original bilateral bone set. You can buy it in a group of two to three people or as per your convenience because it is quite costly. And if you are going for a unilateral bone set, then do look out for skull and sacrum because these two bones, they are available only in one number. 
so there are chances that if you are buying a unilateral bone set they won't be available and you have to purchase these two bones separately also i would not recommend you guys to buy an artificial bone set because the artificial bones they won't be the exact replicas of the original bone and this might create some confusion also check all the bones before buying the bone set because if you are purchasing it from your senior then there are chances that some of the bones they might be misplaced the next is the anatomy dissection hall there are quite a few things that you will be required in the dissection hall first is the dissection kit the dissection kit usually comprises of a pair of scissors blades forceps and scalpel and you need to buy just the basic one aapko expensive kit leke koi matlab nahi hai kyunki aapko uske usi din surgery nahi karni hai the next is surgical gloves you will be requiring surgical gloves as it is a must before entering the dissection hall without surgical gloves you won't be given entry in the dissection hall and you don't need to purchase it separately every day you can purchase a box of gloves between 2 to 3 friends and that will be sufficient for the whole year the next most asked question is whether cunningham is required for anatomy dissection or not as per my suggestions cunningham is not required because no one reads it if you want then you can issue it from the library before the dissection lecture begins and when the practical ends you can submit it back next comes the physiology practicals in your physiology practicals you will be requiring lancets or pricking needles for your hematological practicals you can purchase a box of lancets that usually comprises of around 20 lancets and it is good enough for the whole year and you will be requiring this lancets in your clotting time bleeding time hemoglobin estimation rbc count wbc count and many more practicals also during the examination of the various systems you will be using thermometers fibromanometer hammer for reflexes torch etc many more instruments and you don't need to purchase any of this instrument as of now because all of this instrument they will be provided by your college during your practical hours so this all were the essential things that you need to purchase before entering the first year of mbbs but also there are some non essential things that you may or may not purchase but if you purchase them then your life is definitely going to be a lot easier the number one is a good smartphone yes in today's time you need a good smartphone and your phone should have two qualities that is a good camera quality and sufficient storage because this is your mbbs journey and you are going to capture each and every moment possible of this journey so for that you will be requiring a good camera quality and you will be requiring a good storage because all your pdfs your important questions list fyqs list practical examination images different apps for medical purpose everything it will be downloaded in your smartphone so you need a good storage for that the next thing is earphones or headphones you will be needing them because you will be watching lectures on different apps you will be watching videos on youtube you will be needing them while traveling from your home to the college or from college to your hostel room and there are many more purposes for using this so you need to buy a good quality of earphones and i would recommend to buy airpods you can also buy headphones but uh, they are quite heavy and you know quite difficult to carry from one place to another so for easy use you can use earphones or airpods the next thing that you will be requiring is a power bank because when your phone dies during the college hours obviously you won't be going to your home or to your hostel room just to charge your phone so for that emergency situations you will be needing a power bank The next important thing is buying an iPad. iPad is very useful and effective in note taking purposes. Also you can download PDF of books on it so you can mark or highlight the important points in the PDF itself. Also you won't be requiring to carry such huge bulky textbooks along with you around the campus every time. Also you can watch the lectures for your neat PG preparations on it. If you are going to buy an iPad then do prefer the Air version of the iPad and if possible then buy a second generation Apple Pencil with it because it will be very useful. Also you can go for any other company's tablet but if you are going to invest in an iPad 
then it is going to probably last for the five and a half years of your MBBS journey. If you are a content creator or a YouTuber just like me, then you can prefer buying a laptop or preferably Macbook to edit your videos as it has a very fast processor and it will be very useful while editing your videos. And if you are not associated with any such kind of activities, then you can prefer buying an iPad instead of laptop. The next comes your backpack. You will be needing a good quality of bag and it should have a number of compartments in it for different purposes. You will be carrying your books, apron, charger, power bank, iPad, lunch box, water bottle and many more things with you guys. So your bag should be sufficient to carry all these things. If you are having any doubt then do let us know in the comment section down below. This is it for today's video and don't forget to share this video with all your friends who are entering medical college this year. If you like our work then don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel Mask Medicos. We will be seeing you in the next video very soon.